two, one, action! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Vicky. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am here with my daughter, Lily. Hi! So, Lily is super creative. Um, Lily spends a lot of time in the studio with me watching me sew and draw my dresses. And she's come up with a dress design of her own. And not just a dress design, there's hair, headpiece, she's done a whole look. So, and she's called it My Dream Dress. So in this video, I'm going to make your dream dress a reality, but, but you don't get to see it till it's finished. So it's going to be a surprise Ooh. and we'll do a big reveal at the end. How does that sound? And we're going to go and get her hair done as well. And I'm going to make the headpiece and try and create your look as close as possible. So can you describe your dress that you've drawn for me? So I will start at the hair. The hair. I basically copied it off someone. Her name is Wenji. She's also a YouTuber. Yeah, you're a big Win Wenji fan, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he loves Wenji's hair. So that's the inspiration for that. Tell me about what's in your hair. So, I think I want a short still, like about this short, and maybe have a ponytail at the top. And then I think I want my mum to design a little flower. So you want some Go flowers, ahead. or maybe more than one flower, maybe we could do like a hairband with some flowers flower on Flower crown. Or a flower crown. What's around your neck? A choker, a little bead choker. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the dress. So, is the top of the dress silver? Yep, it's all with silver. With long sleeves. And then ombre into pink, then teal, then light blue, dark blue to purple at the end. Wow, that's a lot of colours. A lot of colours, and it's long. Careful. Mm -hmm. Do you imagine it's sparkly? Maybe with a few crystals. Some crystals Somewhere and some near sparkle. The oh, I was imagining this bit sparkly. What do you reckon? I don't and know. And I'm thinking, you. kind of where you draw this almost looks like layers. What do you think? Yeah, I, I Kind was, of like my black dress? Yeah, I, I think I want it to be like your black dress. So like right, the purple um, sequin and black tulle dress in my strapless dress tutorial. So the, the layers on that. But different yeah. coloured layers. I've got my work cut out for me because we've got only a few days to get this done in. So what I'll do is I'm going to measure Lily and I'm going to make a quick twirl up. And you get to see that part, but it's only just going to be in like random lining fabric and calico. <laughs> so you can see the shape and the fit of the sort of the basic shape of the dress. And then I'm going to make good. all this and keep it secret. And then we've got a hair appointment booked in to get your hair done to match your Wenji inspired hair. And then after Lil's hair has been done, we will come back and film the reveal. And you get to see your dress for the first time. How I'm does that excited. sound? I'm excited too. Right, let's get sewing. To make Lily's dress, I'm going to take inspiration from my purple sequin and black tulle gown that I made for my strapless dress tutorial, because I know she absolutely loves that. So for her dress, I'm gonna use silver sequin fabric. And I'm going to layer it under this gorgeous floral lace that I bought, which is sort of ivory and silver. So I'm going to use the, the lace over the sequins for the bodice and the sleeves will just be the lace. And then for the skirt, it's going to be silver sequins. And then I'm going to layer tulle like I did for the purple and black dress. But I'm going to dye each layer to match the colours in her design. And it will all be lined in white satin. So I've already made a quick pattern and tried it on her and made the changes that I needed to. So I'm just going to mark those changes to my pattern pieces. Then I'm going to cut out and join the lining and the bodice of the outside and cut out the silver sequin for the outside of the skirt. So this is the lining for the dress all together. So this is just satin lining and I've joined the bodice and skirt. This is the bodice with the lace over the sequins over a layer of the satin and then this is the silver sequin skirt for the outside of the dress. To create the coloured ombre effect that Lil's drawn on her skirt I'm actually going to use layers of tulle and I'm going to dye each one to one of the colours. So we're going to start from purple, dark blue, light blue, teal and pink. So I've cut my tulle and next I'm going to go and dye it. I've cut these longer than I actually need in case they shrink while I dye them.
the two blue layers have ended up a little bit too similar. So I'm actually going to do the longer layer, the one that I did with the sapphire blue dye. Just, I'm just going to go over that layer with a bit of this navy, just so there's a bit more difference between the two blues. These are the finished tulle colours, now they're dry and they're pretty close to the colours that Lil drew in her original design so I'm really happy with that. So the next thing I need to do is cut each layer to the length I want, join the pieces and then gather them onto the silver skirt. Now I've got all five layers of the coloured tulle on, I'm going to join the skirt onto the bodice and put the zip in. So now my outside and my lining are together, I can join them together at the neckline and armholes, finish the inside of the zip and do the hem. I'm going to go do that then I'll be back to show you how I'm going to add some extra flowers and some crystals to the bodice. All of the sewing on the dress is now done. So I'm just going to add a few more embellishments to the bodice. I've cut out the rest of the flowers from the lace. I'm going to pin them where I want them on the dress. I think I definitely want some extra ones on the shoulders and maybe to break up the line around the waist as well. Then I'm going to hand stitch them into place with clear thread. And then the last thing to do on the dress will be just to add some of these light rose crystals which I will be sticking on with E6000 Fabrifuse and my little wax pencil. To make the flower to go in Lil's hair, I'm actually going to do a headband. I've got this white satin headband. I'm going to use these pink flowers from this little bunch of silk flowers that I had in my stash. And the pink matches pretty well with the pink tulle. So I'm going to put them on one side. Then I'm going to put a bit of the silver lace on, finish it all off with the pink crystals that I've just used on the dress. And I'm going to stick it all together with my glue gun. So the last job for me to do to make Lily's look is this little beaded choker that she drew. So I've got some clear elastic on a magnetic clasp here. And I'm just going to use these little round silver plastic beads that I had in my stash. Today is hair dye day okay. and Miss Lily is getting shush, 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 shush. oh let's wait the finishing touch well they've seen your picture Come so on, it's the it's finishing like touch it. to your dress and your outfit
Are you ready to see your fabulous new hair? Three, two, one. Oh, it's beautiful! What do you think? It's so good! Now we've got to style it like in your picture and then we'll go home put the dress on and do the reveal of the finished I look. I need two reveals. Open your eyes. <gasps> it's beautiful. What do you think? I love it. Wait, I'm going to... Oh, it does it. What about the headpiece and the choker? Do you like them? I love it, Mom. It's beautiful. Are you glad you didn't see it before? Are you I'm glad right. it was a big surprise? Your hair's so perfect with it. So Lil, have I brought your dream dress to life? Is this what you imagined it was going to be like? Pretty yes. much. Pretty much. But there's one thing that was missing. What? Extra, extra, extra love. You know it was made with love. <laughs> Ready? I'm going to do a spin. Woo! Subscribe and like. Thank you so much for watching. I've had so much fun bringing <laughs> Lil's dress to life. And oh my god, it looks so cute on you. Blink. Outfit. <laughs> cool. If you like my videos and you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe <laughs> button. Give us a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think of Lil's dress. And the bell. And the bell. You know, you watch a lot of YouTube. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> love you. Okay, let me get to the now.